In the last video, we explored how a facility could use the Provider Behavior Ecosystem Map to start thinking about the multi-level factors influencing if and how providers offer postpartum family planning counseling and services, also called PPFP. Now, let's explore how that facility could use the Provider Behavior Change, or PBC Toolkit, to further understand and prioritize the factors that influence a provider's behavior. The toolkit can help social and behavior change and service delivery actors design local initiatives that tackle the root causes of the behavior. The PBC Toolkit follows a four-step process. Step 1. Prepare. The district health team and the facility in charge will work to form a multidisciplinary team with complementary skills to implement this toolkit. They need to know the local health system and the community they serve. Members of the team should possess skills in qualitative research, service delivery, and social and behavior change. First, the team will choose a provider behavior to focus on, such as offering counseling to all postpartum clients. Next, the team will identify who will be interviewed as part of the data collection process. Then, they will create a schedule for data collection, determine what resources are needed, and schedule any trainings to prepare team members. In step two, the team will gather data. The PBC Toolkit contains various collaborative tools to help users identify and then prioritize the strongest influences on their focus behavior. In this case, the provision of PPFP counseling. For example, the client scenario tools can help the team understand what, from the client's perspective, influences provision of PPFP counseling and services. The Provider Behavioral Blueprint allows the team to hear providers say what impacts their PPFP counseling behaviors at each level of the ecosystem. The District Behavioral Blueprint helps the team capture district health personnel perspectives on behavioral influences and understand how health systems may or may not support provider behavior. Finally, the Observation Guide helps the team explore how the workplace environment influences provider behavior. The team then reviews all the data using the toolkit's synthesis tools in Step 3. They discuss which factors stood out and decide which to prioritize. The team identifies the following factors as the most influential. They choose provider attitudes about PPFP counseling as the most influential factor to focus on. This is based on data collected during step two, the inquire stage. The team is now ready for the final step in the process where they will brainstorm solutions for addressing the prioritized factors. Then they will use what they generated to create action plans. The team gathers clients and providers to brainstorm local solutions that address provider attitudes which hinder PPFP counseling and service provision. Some ideas they come up with include provider reflection and journaling, peer champions and mentors, visual cues to prompt providers to counsel on PPFP. Then using the action plan tool, Participants create a concrete implementation plan, clearly outlining the proposed activities, resources needed, and how to measure success. To learn more about the PBC Toolkit, visit the link on the screen. The tools don't just help you understand the problem, they guide the design of effective solutions. Mm -hmm.